why a uh, unprofessional team cannot beat a professional team in Dota or, or League of Legends because League of Legends and Dota is very strategy game too, like heavily strategy. For fighting game, because all happen in real time with uh, reflection, strategy in WoW of course, and, um, um, and, um, and training. And I have to tell you that uh, even you're talking about StarCraft, a se a 1v1, a professional StarCraft player would never lose to a professional StarCraft player too. Um, because, no, I don't think so. Uh, the stream master says StarCraft top players still lose games. I mean, not all the times, because um, I would not think so. An um, uh, unprofessional player cannot beat a professional player if, if it's in the match in, in StarCraft. But you cannot say that because in StarCraft, player who is be professional, they actually training nine to eight hours, which is in while heavily strategy too. Even though maybe the unprofessional player micro is very good, his micro skill is very good, but overall strategies is not better than a professional player. That's my my opinion though. Yeah, I, I think that's why um, Street Fighter. That's how. Uh, that's how the. Um, that's how fantastic this game is. Like, top player can lose to a uh, unfamiliar player and make the crowd hype. That's why we get hype because there's a known player with the good players. But there's one fact that has been proved. If you are well chained, if you are good enough, you are undefeated, like infiltration. If you are well chained and really good. That's why, no matter how many obstacles you gave him, he will overcome that. I think some people like how um, Filipino man not supposed to lose to someone like that because overall Filipino man is better than him or whatever you think you are better than another person but you accidentally lose in a, such a fighting game tournament, a big fighting game tournament. I think in professional players mind, they develop two types of strategy to play in a big tournament one way is that he consider his opponent it's a scrub using a most retarded easier way most easier mix up to beat this player all right the, 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 the strategy the mind is like okay I'm gonna do some uh, 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 classic mix up just do it first Let's see how these players react. Do not use your high level mind to against this low level player because if you go do the reverse because you think too much. That's why against someone you don't know, you should just go all in with all your steel but mix up. You should not think you should go but you should go. That's in my opinion like how you supposed to beat people? Oh, I don't know you. You are not good. I'm just doing some random shit. All right, uh, uh, Karin, uh, we trigger into overhead. Do another palm into overhead again. I don't care. You don't block, right? I think you should just do like that to get into uh, against someone better. So you should use a high level mind to keep playing. That's my opinion, though. Right, guys?
Yes, Andy, you got body. I saw it. But don't worry, Andy got body, but Andy is the host for Defend the North. Check out Defend the North, July 29th to 31st. Cheesecake Factory, he going to claim for the uh, promotional code. Check out Cheesecake Factory, Thai Cheesecake Factory. You get the 20% off when your very first purchase. Thank you. How you guys try out this KOF 14? The demo is out, man. I I only know that even though the graphics sucks, but the gaming, uh, the the system and all the things quite smooth. It's just feel like original KOF series. That's good, right? No, when you're playing a game, if he's running smooth and the system is good, you know, graphic, you know, doesn't matter. People will play it, right? I think it's quite nice. Playing sh playing KOF 14 is quite nice. If you feel like the old way, how you play a KOF. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of feedback that people actually on hand with KOF 14 actually feel okay about it. They can ignore the graphic, like how the game are uh, being done and played, how smooth it is. It was okay. I think eventually KOF 14 is gonna have some online mode and online play, you know. Wait, spec rat, spec rat is already lost. Zero two, damn. What we have next? It doesn't matter. Alright, anyway, guys, what's up? I'm back. You guys miss me? I was just setting up like some headsets for the uh, players. Henry had them all uh, packed up. Up next, we have um. A pretty old school versus a new school match for you guys. This guy is um, Stiff Peter. Stiff Peter. AKA What's Pete's his Halley. story? His story is like he is legendary old school eight on the break player from oh. like 1998, from when wow. I started playing. 1998. But, yeah. Uh, so like, so he's super turbo player. Okay. Yeah, but he really likes Street Fighter Five, so like he tries to come when he can. And let me guess what he played. Ken or you? Nah. Oh, okay. Bison. Bison, yeah, okay. Bison. Oh, bison is the old school dude. I forgot. Shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's playing up. What? Okay, cool. And he's playing up against Master Mike. He's probably one of the most uh, new school players there is at uh, next level, actually. So it sh should, be, should be pretty interesting. I actually don't know. I actually forgot who Pete Talley plays. Yeah, shout out to, uh, to Paltios and um, Elio for subbing for 22 months in a row and 49. Wow, that's insane. Alright, guys, quick commercial. I'll be right back. <laughs> 